company that sells water is worth 700 million of dollars and made 430 million dollars in revenue last year. How a company that sells such a simple thing like water achieved that? To understand that, let me introduce you to the guy who started it all. Meet Michael Tazario. When I made this brand, I didn't set out to be like, I'm going to create something that's going to be worth a billion dollars. I was more like, I want to create something that's going to make my friends laugh. <laughs> a normal dude that studied graphic designs and worked most of his life in advertising agencies. He worked with a lot of famous brands like Netflix, Gary Vee, and many more. We can conclude that Michael knows a few things about graphic design and marketing. Not because he worked with a lot of famous brands, but because he worked with the king of content himself, Gary Vee. I'm gonna make Monday morning my I'm gonna make you Saturday, Monday morning. In 2009, Michael got a backstage pass for the Warped Tour. There he saw that all the cool artists were sponsored by Monster Energy. And when he saw what was in those cans, he was shocked. Cans were filled by water. An idea struck. Why aren't there more healthy products that have cool and memorable branding? Think about it. The most cool and memorable branding have companies that sell unhealthy product like Red Bull, Snickers, Doritos, Skittles and many more. The idea stayed with Michael for years. In 2015, Organic Valley hired Michael's agency to make an ad for their new product called Organic Fuel, a high protein organic milkshake. The company gave them freedom and Michael wanted to test something. So the campaign Save the Bros was launched. Bros are pretty amazing. They're innovators, patriots, and 100% of our Axe body spray. But our bros are in serious danger. The campaign got an insane success. Michael got the proof that he needed. Collecting funds from friends and family, Michael and his team made a 3D model of their product. They paid $15,000 for the ad, put $3,000 in Facebook ads, and launched this. Hi. I'm a professional actor, and I'm getting paid to tell you about a revolutionary new product. Four months later, they had over 4 million views on the ad, had more Facebook followers than Aquafina. The demand went crazy. They raised over $150,000, found a water supplier in Austria, and sold online. First month, they made $100,000 on sales by spending $2,000 on ads. They sold out in the first month. Whole Foods, 7-Eleven, Walmart, Target, everybody wanted them. Seriously, those guys are geniuses. How will you sell water? You can say, while well, our brand is really healthy, you will feel really refreshed, blah, 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 blah. People be like, so? Aquafina, Fiji water are also healthy. You are not unique, but put it in cans, have a cool image, have cool marketing, and that's how you will sell water. I mean, just look at their ads. Ah, the underworld, where the souls of the damned are sentenced to an eternity of unrelenting torment. Some call it hell. I call it home. And some will use plastic bottles to make it a real mess of it. It's so memorable. You don't forget such a funny and interesting ad. This is their mascot. Bottled in majestic mountains. Liquid death mountain water will murder your thirst. Pretty interesting guy. They use famous people on their ads, from Martha Stewart to adult stars. Their the deep ad from the Super Bowl is one of the best Super Bowl ads that year. They made an album of hate comments. Who does that? Oh, and you don't get newsletter the standard way. You need to sell your soul. As Michael said, their motto is, what is the most stupidest thing we can do? Genius motto. Genius. Genius. Liquid Death sells merch. Guess how stupid it is. <laughs> Look at this. And the most interesting thing is that I would buy that. They have also sparkling water for top G fans and sparkling water with taste in their offer. But don't worry, Liquid Death gave them normal names like sparkling, mango chainsaw, Severed, Lime, Buried, Alive. Names that you see often. Have you ever seen brands do that like Liquid Dead does it? 
Liquidate is right now in over 60,000 retail locations in the US. They got 195 million of dollars of total funding. Some of the investors were Wiz Khalifa, DJ Trio, Swedish House Mafia, and comedian Whitney Cummings. In their first year, 2019, they earned 2.8 million of dollars. Year after that, in 2020, 10 million. In 2021, staggering 45 million. And last year, as we said in the beginning, triple that, 130 million dollars. This team took branding to a whole new level. A lot of brands in the future will go liquid debt route. I mean by that is that they will take inspiration from them or maybe copy them. If they do that, I really hope that they will copy one thing that's really important in the liquid debt brand. They care about the ocean and plastics. One of the reasons liquid debt is in aluminum cans is because it's recycled. And liquid debt donates 10% of their profits to clean the ocean. They made people to think about the environment. As I have seen taste test, people really like it. I didn't hear any negativity about the product. People really engage with the brand. Liquid debt has huge social media following. They challenged people to who can drink it in the dumbest way and record it. They even made Steve-O to get a tattoo of their brand. Speaking of tattoos, the CEO Michael got a tattoo of a Liquid Dead fan. It blows my mind how such a simple thing like water can create such a strong brand and make this much money and also make people healthier. Stay healthy and drink water. Cheers.